Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. Want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Mm, since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and... Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward, and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. Are you kidding? She wasted enough of my time. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. I'm happy Jonah's alive. 
He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride, and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place, and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility, and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. I'll be here if you want to deal someone. Hard work is good for the soul. The sect has been maintaining this mission through hard work for over 400 years. Angel de la Cruz and Truilos Serrano arrived here back then and immediately set to work. Their philosophy of labor being the only true way to get closer to God is one we still follow, even now. father brought us here when I was just a boy. For a holiday? Research. He studied Incan stone monuments. I guess it was more of a hobby. He had no formal education. He sounds like an interesting man. <sighs> he was. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I'd come back here after he died. Maybe see if I could finish what he started. I know how you feel. But then I just ended up staying. There's something about this place that draws people and keeps them here. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. Be 
careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. I can't quite explain it, but have you noticed how the world seems thinner here than in other places? Like, it's just a curtain drawn, and if you found a cord, you could pull it and see heaven itself. There seems like a tangible connection between this life and the next here. Or maybe we're all already dead. Or maybe I need to get out of the sun for a little while. Now this is a fascinating concept, the Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. That's quite a bow you have. You must be a hunter. The mission could use a hunter. Ever since before the earthquake, we've been plagued by wolves. I can't let these children out of my sight for a second. Just the other day, I saw this one out on the road, running after a wolf. Can you believe that? He said he only wanted to play. <laughs> As though he expected the wolves to roll over and chase sticks. Some of those kids are so high-spirited. I need a little break. Don't tell the sisters. <laughs> I could use a little spirits myself some days, but this mission does not allow alcohol. So I have to settle for the few moments of quiet I can find. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. You know, it seems like every few years, God draws a disaster this way. I can see that the earthquake caused a lot of damage. Nothing we can't fix with enough time, and materials. 
Unfortunately, one of those is in short supply. I don't hear anything. Exactly. She must be close. She? The Empress Jaguar. As soon as she shows up, every other animal shuts up. No need to attract her attention, right? Right. Shouldn't we be quiet too, then? Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. I can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. Did you see that? It was a condor. Magnificent birds. Ah, uh, I must have missed it. Some people around here think they're a good omen, but they're just birds. People like to think good things will happen. And that's fine, as long as they don't put all their hopes in it. The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage, outrageous, betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or 
Human, maybe. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Hmm. <sighs> 